Okay, so we've got a call from someone um, who has found one of our young birds. This person is staying at an extended stay hotel by a golf course, and apparently one of our birds uh, that we lost Um, basically, he found our bird, and it seems like the bird is injured, hit one of the um, golf course nets. So we're going to go pick up the bird. Luckily, we put those little clip-on bands with our phone number on our birds, so that people who may come across our birds, like in this situation, who wouldn't know to contact the AU to look up their band and find the owner of the band that way they can just uh, you know look at the phone number contact us and that's what we did so we're gonna go get this guy and I looked up the band number and this is thing one of all the birds that didn't come back this is probably the one that I would pick to have back so I'm really really happy to get this bird back. See, so this is what we're talking about. Poor bird flying into that at 50 miles an hour. Man. All right, so here's one of our birds who was rescued by a super kind gentleman who found this bird injured right off of this golf course. Looks like he hit that and hurt his wing. And wow, we're really thankful to have this one back. This is one of our favorites. So, man, it's great to have good people in the world. Okay, and here's a quick shout out to the real hero of this story. This is Greece, G-R-I-S. That is Italian for gray. Uh, this cute dog is the one who spotted Thing One and alerted her owner to uh, our bird. And so without this cute pup, we would not have our bird back. So thank you, Grease. So here he is in his box. But look at that. I mean, his wing is just dangling down there. Poor little dude. Here, Henry, you want to take that? Get him. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Can you make all the things? Uh, maybe. We'll see. Okay. So he's a little bit powdery because I just put some uh, lice powder on him because he had some lice on his head. He's been out for several days and uh, yeah, he wasn't doing too good. But as you can see, he's we got that wing that's just dangling. This part, so you know, when you look at the when you think about bird anatomy, let me show you on this other wing here. I'm not gonna grab that wing. But we got the arm bone that comes right there to there and then there. So this bone right here, going from there to there is the humerus, and then over here to here is what would that be the radius and ulna and then here you have like what's homologous to our hands but it's modified okay so we have flexion going on there but uh it really can't bend there's no flexion going up and down at this point on what's uh, homologous to our wrist over on this side this is what we got. Super swollen right here at the base of the ulna. Oh, not the ulna. Um, yeah, where the ulna and the humerus meet. So it's elbow, basically. It's about that thick. Okay. So I thought maybe the break was there. Like I can feel the bone. I think it's okay. Maybe it's not. That may be broken too right there. Oh, look at that, yeah. I think that might be broken right there. Look at the way that's wiggling. That 
That's why it's so swollen right there. I thought he just had a break right there maybe, but that would make sense. So, we got that humerus right there, but I don't have a wiggle going on. That's why it's so swollen right there. So then if we look over here, I felt all along here, along the radius and ulna, and it feels okay until I get to right here. And it feels like maybe there's a break right there. Cause you can kind of, it kind of flexes. I don't know if it, it seems like it maybe flexes a little bit up and down like that, right there. So yeah, look at that, this poor dude. Obviously, this guy's never gonna race again. Well, I say again, he's never raced. Hopefully we can get it to where he can actually fly, or at least live in uh, not a painful state, get it to heal okay. Alrighty. Okay, so here's a schematic of the bird anatomy of a wing. And for this bird, the break is right about there, um, right next to that elbow joint. The break is actually at the distal end of the humerus, which is very difficult to bind, to set, and have it heal properly. So we're really pushing it, but we're going to try it. Here's hoping. All right, so using this awesome stuff right here that just sticks to itself, but it's not sticky itself. It's a tongue twister. All right, this is how we have him situated. Got his feet wrapped up with his tail. We've got his good wing wrapped up. Um, around his body. Not super tight, but tight enough that he's not gonna be able to flap around and move. Poor little guy. Hey, you're okay. You're okay, buddy. Just, it's okay. So, right here, I just sprayed it and got it wet. But that's where the break is. Right in there. So, like I said before, that's really swollen. The good news is that it's not a compound fracture, it didn't break the skin. So it hasn't been bleeding and getting infected for the past couple days. But yeah, we're gonna try and set this somehow. Not sure exactly how. This is where we're at so far. All right, I've gathered some extra supplies. Nerf gun, darts, the obvious, and then uh, some, oh, he likes those Nerf gun darts. <laughs> and then uh, popsicle sticks. Those are gonna be used to make a splint. Here we go. All right, so what I think I'm gonna do is make a little splint. This arm bone is about, you know, an inch and a half long. Okay, do one more of those. Come in. It just makes it so it's you don't have that hard book hanging up riding that right up against its skin. Always good to have nerf darts. These nerf darts are everywhere in my house. I can literally look anywhere, any direction. 
and I'll see a Nerf dart somewhere. All right, sorry Nerf dart, I have to sacrifice you. So what we'll do is we'll put one on one side and one on the other side and then we'll try and set it and then wrap his wing. out of joint when it's the two bones are kind of wrestling up against each other in their uncle's way okay I think that it's where we want it so Henry can you help here what do you think do this and then wrap that Okay, so get, here, why don't you, you want to cut those feathers? Yep. Cut to about right there. No, cut a little bit closer. Right here. Yeah, just don't, ouch, that's my finger. <laughs> there you go. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so. That wobble, there we go. Let me try to run this right along the length of that bone. Should we go around it once? Yeah. Hopefully. enough times around? I don't know. I think the other problem with that is can you can you let it hang a little bit? Or is it too do I need to slide that out a little more? To let that hang or is that just gonna get really annoying right there for him? Can you pull that out a little tiny bit, Henry? So this is where we have it. This is where we're at. Got them set up with uh, drink with uh, Nutri Drops mixed in there. Just add some vitamins and stuff to help him heal up. And um, got his arm bone, the humerus 
fully extended because that's the one that's broken. And so that's why his wing is drooped so much. But I've just got him in this little box for tonight and then tomorrow I'll get him set up in a little more spacious cage. All right, trap training. Here we are. Really like these two. These are um, the last two off of Flyboy and Fat Bottom Girl. They're beauties. They handle amazingly well and uh, just have really great balance. Of all my birds I've bred this year, that pair produced the ones that just come out of the nest weaned feeling amazing. Just super packed with muscle. So really like that pair. We're going to keep that pair together for next year. Now we just got to get these guys to go through the trap. All the others went through but these guys haven't gone through before. So we're going to try and get them to do so. Wish us luck.